Late night legend Jay Leno is slowly but surely recuperating from the frightening incident that left him with severe burns. On November 12th, the comedian was attempting to fix up his 1907 white steam car when a fuel leak covered his hands and face with gasoline, according to TMZ. A stray spark then set off an eruption engulfing Leno in flames until his nearby friend was able to quickly smother and extinguish the fire. Thankfully, it looks like the Tonight Show alum is set to make a full recovery, but he received serious injuries from the accident. According to the New York Times, Leno suffered both second-degree and third-degree burns, with the most severe damage being found on his face. Despite the worrisome headlines, the late-night host reassured the public in a statement after the accident, writing, I am okay, just need a week or two to get back on my feet. As the star undergoes treatment for his burns, Leno is giving the world a glimpse into his recovery efforts. As he's going through treatment for his injuries, Leno reportedly continues to be in good spirits. Dr. Peter Grossman, the head of the Grossman Burn Center in Los Angeles, where Leno is being treated, explained in a new video from Inside Edition just how intense the comedian's treatments have been. He has had skin grafts that are not his own, in, meaning skin that we have in our skin bank uh, from donor skin. According to Mount Sinai, skin grafts are pieces of skin that are surgically reattached to cover a wound. In the segment, Leno can also be seen with bandages covering his face, hands, and right arm as he lays in a hyperbaric chamber. These hyperbaric chambers are utilized on burn victims to accelerate burn wound healing by increasing oxygen supply to injured areas and reducing swelling, per the Grossman Burn Center website. With these treatments, Dr. Grossman believes that the former late-night host will have a swift recovery. As I'm getting to learn about Jay, I don't think it's going to be months. I really think he's the type of guy who's just going to move forward. That's great news for the comedian's wife, Mavis Leno, who Dr. Grossman previously shared was obviously very concerned for her husband of over 40 years according to People. While Jay Leno had already gone through surgery, Dr. Peter Grossman revealed that it's too early to tell whether his injuries would be permanent, especially in his facial area. The medical professional told NBC News that Leno had burns to approximately 7% of his body, which they immediately remedied by adding temporary skin grafts from human cadaver skin. Leno has reportedly been a trooper amid his injuries, with Grossman noting that the legendary comedian was refusing to complain about his condition. Despite his burns being what the doctor calls the most painful type of injury, Grossman commended the star's very high pain threshold. He also told the New York Times, Our hope is that when everything is all said and done, he will do well, but burn injuries are progressive and dynamic, and it's hard to predict ultimately what the final outcome will be at this stage in the game. Regardless of the outcome, it looks like nothing can take the comedian out of Jay Leno. He's Jay Leno. <laughs> He's walking around and he's cracking jokes. After sharing that the comedian was exhibiting incredibly kind behavior to the hospital staff, Grossman predicted, I do anticipate him making a full recovery. The former Tonight Show host has even found the energy to catch up with some pals, including Tim Allen. Speaking with TMZ just outside of the Grossman Burn Center, the home improvement actor confirmed that Leno is truly on the mend and that he engaged in some friendly banter like they always do. Allen told the outlet, He's feeling better, we did some jokes, which is what we do. We commiserated. He also assured fans that Leno's face won't be affected from the burns, joking that he'll resemble George Clooney after recovery. Allen shared, He's handsome and he's happy. The hospital is doing a great job taking care of him. 